So this question is about the finding the coordinates of instantaneous axis of rotation. So let's read a few pointers about that. You must be already familiar with that, but let me just recall some of the points which will be useful. First is it's a point about which the whole body rotates at a given moment. So at a given moment, that means it may not be a fixed point. So with time to time, it can change. But at a given moment, we can define a, an IOR. It is at rest with respect to ground and it need not be on the body. Finally, it's located on a line perpendicular to the velocity at any point on the body. So if you take any point on a body, on a rotating body and from the velocity vector you take a perpendicular, so that perpendicular line will be passing through the instantaneous axis of rotation. So using these four points, we are, let's find the instantaneous axial rotation of this disk, which they have given two parts. In first part, it's going forward with a constant velocity, but it has an angular acceleration beta. And in second part, it's rotating within constant angular velocity omega, but it has a linear acceleration A. So we need to find the coordinates of IOR. So if we take the center and let's have the velocity V at a given moment, then we can see that IOR must be located at a line perpendicular to the velocity. So IOR must lie on this point, this line somewhere. Now if the velocity of center of mass is V, then that IOR will also have a velocity V with respect to center and sorry, so V with respect to ground and with respect to center, it will have a velocity omega y. If it, this point is at a distance y. So again, we have taken this point. So an instantaneous axis of rotation must lie on this point perpendicular to velocity. So we are assuming, let's say it is at a distance y. So the velocity of this point will be velocity with respect to center of mass with respect to the with respect to this point that is omega y plus velocity of this point that is v. So I should not say center of mass so we can write this about any point on the body. So we have selected this point because it's convenient to us as the as the disk is rotating about this point. So again about this point we have taken this point which, is, which we have assuming to be IOR. So the velocity of this point P is velocity with respect to center plus velocity of center. So we have drawn it in a vector form. So omega y will be because it's turning by omega. So this will be omega y and this will be v. Now it is at rest with, with respect to ground. That means v must be equal to omega y. So VP velocity of P point should be zero implies V is equal to omega Y. So omega we can write as beta T because angular acceleration is beta and time we can write as X by V because it's going with a constant velocity V. So time taken will be X by V. So if we put these values, so instead of T we put X by V and instead of omega we put beta X by V. We simplify and get y is equal to v square by beta x. So this, this is how the coordinates of uh, IOR are varying with x. So if you plot, you can see that y is inversely proportional to x. So it will be this kind of curve, which is a hyperbola. Now in second case, the center is accelerating with acceleration a and angular velocity is given as constant, that is omega. So again, the same equation will apply. So let's say at any given moment, its velocity is V. And again, the velocity with respect to center will be omega Y. So because again, this point is an X, this point is IOR, for this point we can say V is omega Y. And this time because it is accelerating, so V we can write as 2AX. So our standard equation of motion.
because the acceleration is uniform, we can say v square is equal to 2ax. So we put that v is equal to root 2x is equal to omega y, which gives y is equal to root 2ax by omega. So if you square that, it will be in the form of y square is proportional to x. So that is the equation of parabola. So in second case, the axis of rotation is moving away from the center. And in first case, it is moving towards the center. Yeah.